you got a jealous friend, love them from across the street. Don't you give them your secrets? I'm, I'm giving you the word. Don't you call them when you're vulnerable? You better, I, listen, you better call Cleo or somebody. If you're vulnerable, find you somebody else. But if you put your secrets in the hand of the jealous, at some point it's going to be used to discredit you. Now, some of you are like, man, this is really crazy. You know what I've learned? You can be a nice person and people can be jealous of you. The, the, the assumption is people are only jealous of the mean and the great. No, you can be quiet, mind your own business. You can be just as humble and meek and folk be like, Psh. And if they have no justification for it, they just say, it's something about her. What exactly is it? I don't know, but I know. My spirit don't lie. Ain't that what they do? Well, the real truth is you may have a jealous spirit. I agree for those of you that wrestle with this in your families. Because if they're jealous of you, they can't support you. It's a very lonely walk when you walk around with the constant knowledge of people's jealousy. And here's where it becomes tormenting. You're not even all the way you yet. You jealous and baby me. If this makes you mad, if who I am today is upsetting you, bruh, don't hold your breath. So part of what you got to resolve is that it's going to happen. Part of what you need to resolve is that it probably is happening. And you just got to develop a plan. Just like Pastor Josh said last week, offenses will come. Somebody is going to be jealous of you. The ones that are going to hurt the most, Dr. Ross, are going to be the ones that journeyed with you. These are your childhood friends, your high school people, your neighbors, and they knew you. They call you by your nickname. You get the wrong opportunity. You get the wrong view. And all of a sudden, something that was sleep for years. And you're like, what the heck did that come from? I ain't never seen you act like this. And the source of it is going to be a jealous spirit. I'm looking at several, several of you women where your sisters are envious. I'm talking, about, I'm, I'm talking about natural sisters that are envious of you. You're dealing with, what do you think the source of sibling rivalry is? It's jealousy. Mama always did it for you. Daddy always. And you're like, no, the heck they didn't. They said, ooh, ooh. I went, but jealous people will tell your story. Jealous people will rob you of the right to share your experience. Y'all say, no, I know I was there. You didn't live what I lived through. How do you know? Can I say one more? I don't even want to say this, but I'm going to say it. Some of you have jealous husbands. I am a man of God that God has used my life to platform apostolic and prophetic women. Most of them are not where they could be because of the insecurity of a husband. You are not going to be greater than 